Green and Webs and Grandchildren, this is Jackie K, and welcome to another edition of Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last time in our adventure, we lit the Jupiter Lighthouse, and in the process actually saved Isaac and friends. So now we have to meet up with them in Canonical to discuss our differences and hopefully live in peace. Perhaps. Aha! Suckers, I'm gonna run away and never return. The home. What a fool. You thought I would actually go back and meet up with you? Uh huh. You really thought I was gonna go back? Never! Oh boy, oh boy, right now. I kinda have my regrets. You're not planning on running away from Isaac again, are you? Uh oh. We can't run anymore, Felix. I promised him we wouldn't. Besides, they want to talk, not fight. They're waiting for us. Let us go to Canonical. Okay, okay. If the awesome Jenna says we gotta go meet up with Isaac and friends, we will freaking go and meet up with Isaac and friends. Ugh. Top of the hill, that's good to know. Oh yeah. God, uh, we are set. Come on, Reed. Oh boy. Okay. Well, they're just gonna talk. We're not gonna get the bad stick. Okay. I'm glad you kept your promise, Felix. Let's hear what he has to say for himself. What can we say, Isaac? Has Felix ever harmed you? Have we ever fought against you? He's been avoiding you, but never had the intention of fighting. Yep. Of course, we wouldn't worry about the awesome Jenna. She was afraid that if we met, we would have been forced to fight. She didn't want that. I know that now, but it doesn't explain what you're doing, this. He looks betrayed his own tale. That's why he hasn't been able to face Isaac. He looks hoped to play the villain alone without getting Jenna or me involved. What are you talking about? He conspired to seal the elemental star and let the weekends in the poor white box. Like Sandals and Rebani. Why? Here's lives were at stake. We had to help. Parents, but they died. That storm three years ago. That night, sat also in his mind and raided his soul sake him. The storm was their doing. Parent, you saw two strangers at night, Zidos and Murdani. They were the only survivors of Zidos' raiding party. They failed to solve the mystery of Solsakum, so they triggered the storm in the process. Everyone thought that you were killed by that boulder, Felix. I can't tell you how glad I was to find you were alive. In fact, nobody died by that boulder. Wait, that means... Created? Nobody died from that boulder? But what about Isaac's dad? And Jenna and Felix's parents? Yes, if Felix survived, Kyle and the others may have as well. Why didn't tell us? We could have worked together to save your parents, couldn't we? If only it was that simple. He's right. If they were too powerful, then... It would have been impossible. There's more to it than that, though. He had another reason for letting the lighthouse beacons. Unless they were lit. They are will eventually be destroyed. But how? Why? The world is steadily shrinking. Elemental energy drives the growth of civilization. Without it, we in the world will never. Are uh, all the lighthouses aren't illuminated? According to the research, that seems to be the case. But, Creighton, you said that the world would be destroyed when all of them were lit. That might be true too, but if we do nothing, the world will definitely end. Wait for the world to come to an end. Or wind up accidentally triggering it ourselves. What a choice. No single story. 
there is no way to prevent the world from reaching its natural end. However, we can fight to save the world from withering away to the options of man. And Felix, you knew this? You were helping them? Because this is happening? I guess. You're last more than I remember you being. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I could have helped you. You wouldn't before, Isaac. Now I'm violating the sacred teachings of Val. Now, should we be going? But wait, isn't there more interaction than talking to go through? Of course, this time with the NPC! I was born in Kanago, and I inherited the power of the Ominous. Hey, we just got to Kanago, and we found this was where Ivan was born. Yeah, we also learned he had a sister. You don't mean... Yes, that would be me. No, no, now's not the time. You just meet your sister after so many years of thinking that you are alone, a lone child, and this is how you react? Sure, sure, it sounds noble enough and was. Gotta hurry and save the world from freezing over, but still. Mars Lighthouse? Akiago has a Mars star. It's on its way to lay it now. I doubt I'll be able to make it to the Mars Beacon. Why is that? There's a powerful force that does not want to see the Mars rekindle. You will fail as well unless you pull your strengths together and fight as one. This is bad, we gotta go now! I hope that you would feel this way. I prepared a gift for you, to aid you on your way to the Mars Lighthouse. I must leave now, but I will meet you at the inlet. I'm sorry we left the Venus Lighthouse while seeing you. I'm sorry for making you worry. Maybe we can all go on a trip together when this is over. Hey Jenna, you certainly seem calm, considering that we're racing to meet our enemies. I'm just relieved that we were able to sort our differences. Me too, Mia. Well, I guess if they all agree, that is a common foe. So this is Felix's quest now. We're just doing what we can to help out. Aren't you happy? I guess, yay! To the ship! Really? No. Ba ba dun dun dum dum dum! Because we just got four new party members, dang it! Yeah! They're part of our party now and they'll fight alongside of us. When we actually get into a battle, I'll explain more about the whole party mechanics because it's not as simple as you may think. Well, it may not be. But now that Isaac and friends are in our party, we can use synergy from the last game, including this one. Let's see what happens if we use it on said law. Pada! The Jin! And what will come from the Jin? Is his name, in other words? Come on, join the magic pocket of awesome. It's a Mars Jin Shine! Oh yeah. I think because we have a full party now, our Dijins might have gotten split between them all. Not completely sure. Also forgot to mention that Isaac and his party have all the levels, items, that we transferred over from the last game. So they're a little under level, but they could have been a lot worse if we didn't have the transfer feature at all. Plus, we would miss out on a whole bunch of Dijins and similar stuff. Now, is there anything else I'm missing? I guess we could use force on a couple of things. That's not force, Garrett. <sighs> Silly Garrett, you are such a smart as ever. Da -da -da -da. Yay, Garrett. Okay. I'm sure we're getting into one battle, so I'll explain things right as we get into it. Because there's a little more than what would meet the eye. I mean, at this rate of going the wrong direction, we're sure to get in a battle. So, as you can see, only the first four members of the party are there. However, now that we have eight, any time in the first turn of a battle, or actually at the beginning of any turn, you can swap any party member with the other party. Like so. 
and then they'll do their only like any other party member would with all the powers they had before. What's even better is that we have Richard Jin so we can mess around with our classes to make a full-fledged party. We can have healers, while Jenna has her default class as an example. I'll worry about that more later. There's some other things I want to show. For one, Gary got level. Yes, you can get level ups, and you gain experience even if you're not in the head party. Though, you'll only battle if you're in the first four slots. Another thing to note, if Felix is not in your party, but Isaac is, Isaac's battle theme will play. Just a little trivia more than anything else. Last but certainly not least, if no one... If neither Isaac or Felix is in your party, the main one, guess what plays the awesome Jenna theme? Hurrah! Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've heard that theme. And we're gonna be listening to it many, many more times to come. Because it's my LP. So I get to decide who's gonna be in the main party. Ha! Huh. A little disappointingly to some people, that will play even if Jenna's not in the party, I believe. But Felix and so and so. Felix and Isaac were not in the party yet. Huh? So they did make our ship into the flying ship. I kinda wanna go up there. I guess they were just blocking us from going out of the town. I mean, they could probably still go up there unless they got an ambush there too, like a point of no return. Which reminds me, I still gotta spend tickets to fight. No one in here? Ah, uh, let's not delay, I'm pretty sure I could just come back if I'm missing out on anything. Yeah. Here's our ship. It's almost time. Time to watch our legend become a reality. Everyone will just obey Ham's quest. The ship will sure fly. Once you remove the stone anchors weighing down the ship, it should fly. The new ship of found animals flies once again. The whole land shall be made free. As the legend says, but what land needs free? We seem free enough. Warriors will know what to do. They'll know how to save the land. I've been waiting for you, Felix. Take a look at your ship. Ooh, it's got wings! All obstacles in our path will vanish forever. Including ones blocking forge items. Sign energy is the force that powers the wings and anomalies. If the ship is to fly, you must focus your minds together. This is Shaman's Village recently, have you not? Now's the time to make use of the powers you require there. Now use the power hover to raise your ship. Whoa, how do you know? You may not want to fly too high or move too far. It's difficult at first, but that's to be expected after all, it's your first flight. But your question does not demand much more of you. Now be confident and set sail. All canonical is waiting. Show them your power. And make your vessel fly. Hey, wait! Master Hammond requested that I deliver this to Isaac, and I totally forgot about it! Well, you better hurry. It's not too late, is it? I'm only here, I stopped in Cali and briefly spoke with Master Hammond. He's quite upset that you haven't returned to visit, so he could thank you. So I request that I took this with me to Cali. It's a gift from Master Hammond. Take it, please. And we got a freaking gold bar! I don't care what that says! That's totally a gold bar! Are we setting off now? Indeed! Then up to sea we go! So there's a the rocks blocking our way. I'm surprised they don't actually tell you this, but... Yeah, weird. We can't actually go back the way we came. Thank goodness we can actually fly! We did! The ship took off without a hitch! 
Yeah, we should be flying higher. I haven't told us we wouldn't be flying very high until we were more familiar with Hover. Let's see how far we can take this thing. Shabia, what's wrong? You don't look too happy. Remember on uh, Juno, I told you I have my own reasons for joining your quest? Oh, you're so secretive. You gonna tell us? You're gone quietly again. It's okay. You don't have to tell us if you're not ready yet. I thought if I went to the Jupiter Lighthouse, I learned who I was. I remember Lavarado talking about how she fell from the sky. All my life, I've been looking for the answers. Where I was born. Why I was abandoned. You knew Felix would be going to Jupiter Lighthouse, so you went along with him. You didn't find answers. Did you, Shabia? I'm sorry, Shabia. I was so excited to find Kanako, I didn't consider your feelings. Why is everyone so down all of a sudden? Fire and Ray should be as like his own daughter. He cared for her ever since he first found her. Yeah, that's true, but... Is that it? You can't be his real daughter? Garrett, you don't have to be so blunt. He's right, I would have more... more about my real parents. No matter how caring for him may have been. You think so? Uh, if it were me, I doubt it would bother me at all. Shibuya, you may not know this, but you and I are similar. Well, it's not the same situation, but... I was born in a poor village. My memories are hazy. I still remember it. I was only four when Bobby took me under his wing. See, even though I was quite young, I was quite intelligent. Bobby had heard about me. When Bobby took you to Togi? To further your education? To raise you as a scholar? I was separated from my parents so early in life, I never really known the comforts of the two home. Fairy has always been like a father to me. I must have been lucky. Oh, I should say so. Thank you, Craven. I feel better now. Glad I could help. We should be going. Let's hurry on, Felix. And now we can hover. It's not just good for going over little rocks, though. We can go on land with it. Oh yeah, but we can't go around trees. What up, Pooey? We can't go down cliffs either. And it actually drains all of our synergy from every party member. So that also sucks a little, but... Hey, we can go over rocks, and all the things we can do, it's awesome. Because I don't think you can run into random monsters, speaking of, while you're in this farm. So, I think the party has joined ours. We are now able to fly with the power of hover. What adventures await us as we reach the Mars Lighthouse? What more must be done before we save the world? Let's find out. When we continue, Golden Sun, The Lost Age, I am Jackie K, and I will see you all later.